You may have heard, have heard of the famous sheep, Dolly. She's the first animal that was actually produced through the process of cloning. Hi, I'm Janice Crenetti, and I'm here to talk to you about what is embryo splitting. Embryo splitting is actually a slightly different way of uh, cloning animals. So, a different version than how Dolly was created. It was actually used recently to clone some monkeys. Well, in order to understand about embryo splitting, we have to understand what an embryo is. An embryo is the beginning of life. It's where the cells have started to reproduce themselves in the process of forming a new organism. It could be a person, it could be a chicken, it could be a pea plant. It all starts with what we call two sex cells. A sperm cell and an egg cell, they have to come together to create what we call a zygote. A zygote has got all of the material needed to become the new organism. Well, that single-celled zygote begins to split. It splits in half, and it splits in half again, and it splits in half again. When it gets to the point of having about eight cells, that's when the embryo splitting can actually happen. Obviously, these organisms are very tiny, but scientists will, using the tools at their disposal, split this eight-celled embryo in half. Now, what's important about this is that every single cell is genetically identical. So you end up with basically identical twins. In fact, a similar process happens when identical twins are produced in the human body. So now you've got two embryos that are genetically identical. Scientists are using this to help create monkeys that are genetically identical, which helps them in their disease research. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is What is Embryo Splitting?